Greetings, traders out there in Trader Land. Name's Des here at Rock Trade. It's Monday, June 13, 2011. A whole lot of nothing today. Big doji. But I just ended a class of mentorship uh, this weekend, three day, and today we ended. But what's interesting is we, our demographic of students coming through are getting, uh, you know, they're getting younger and younger. The average person coming into the markets right now is a 50 year old male, a uh, middle manager uh, with the tendency of being an engineer, tends to be the average person coming into the markets right now. And however, our demographic is anywhere between 25 to 45. We had an 18-year-old in this class and also a 25-year-old. So far as uh, demographics are concerned and our classes are concerned, it's really interesting to see um, how the universities are starting to teach more on finances and also technical analysis than what they did even a year ago or two years ago and how the interest is spiking in the younger generations. Great to see. But anyway, we have here the Dow and S&P ending in positive territory, but the NASDAQ and Russell's in negative territory. So we have the NASDAQ and Russell's leading the charge to the downside. Banks did show a big push at the end of the day, leading the broad markets. However, they were very weak to start off the day. They picked up more and more steam coming in. You know, it makes me start thinking, is that the QE2 that pumped things in? But the fear is still there, gang. We're up 3.6, almost 3.7%. We're over 19 now. Gold, silver took it on the chin. Big hits in some commodities, metals, and crude oil also down a whopping 2%. The dollar drops a half a percent, helping the markets. And uh, we did get a trend reading at 0 0.6. So for you graduates out there, you know that there is a big chance of a significant move happening tomorrow. And furthermore, what's happening pre-market tomorrow? We have retail sales. That's a huge number. And we also have PPI. And after that, we have the CPI. So we have inflationary numbers coming out. And that will be, or it will give us some indication of what's happening out there um, in the economy. So all eyes will be on that data. And it won't take much to keep this markets going south. But if I zoom in a little bit, here we have a big symmetrical triangle. We are extended way down. We're at oversold territory in areas. We do have a doji after an extended drop. So it does set us up for movement to the upside, but I would like to see us get over that 1280. 1280 would be an area of resistance. I would like to see us cross over, but we're below all major moving averages. And we're just caught up in this triangle we're going into the apex of this triangle so i'm looking for a break out or a break down either can happen but i think the catalyst will weigh in on the side of how we're doing in the economy so there you have it thank you for being a user a watcher a viewer and a customer of grok trade and thank you for sharing this with your friends take care very safe trading to you